Uh, what's going on, guys? We are back. Some more uh, MLB The Show. Balls on the ground. Zips it across. One of one down. So up next, Jackson Holiday. He swings and fouls well. Holiday batting second in today's lineup, and he's a former rookie of the year. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two one now. Holiday checks his swing, appeal to third, and Matthew Ross yeah, right on it really says fun. he held up. Righty delivers. But that's good. Right. You can do about those as a hitter, even though you know that they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That one drilled left field. Right. Puts it away for the out. This is Willie Castro. Right on the mound. Two for two. Swing and a foul straight. Willie Castro falls. Indians. And there's a foul ball. The 0-2. That's down and in. String in a miss. Pulled the string of the changeup. TJ Friedel up now for the Mets. And it's foul away. One out, base is empty. And a foul ball. That's a strikeout. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Watch out the first two hitters of this game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. How about in one solo? Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Or two is the count. He's got a few of the strikes and now he's going down. to begin the game. What a start. Mets go down quickly, scoreless after one. Back here in Queens, and now the first baseman, Xavier Isaac. Ball one, no strikes. McKenzie, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Dave Lawrence assigned to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which, you know, for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one at all. That ball said high and deep. Clifford is there. He makes the grab one down. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of... What a play! Two down. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. Foul ball. Craig Vaughn. Wide of the pitch. 
way. Going to pop up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Here's the 0-2. Two. Two, two outs, base is empty. Bounce off, awesome. still one and two. <clears throat> Here comes the pitch. And one two misses to even the count. That ball is a base hit. And that's our first hit of the season. Perfect example right there. A hitter who hits the ball on the outside part of the plate the other way has to trust his hands and let the ball travel a little bit deeper. And now Dylan Cruz. And that's it for strike. Tristan McKenzie, the former national. Plus one doesn't get the call. Balls in the air. Sizing this one up, and that is that. That's the inning. And we'll move back to the ballpark. Now Gunner with the play, Henderson. Gunner Henderson. Yeah, that's right outside. Now. Ball one. There's a strike. That's foul ball. Still a one and two count. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. And down and he got. strikes he goes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. Strike one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Four matters. Four strike now the count is even. One and one. Base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Change up. And two away now. Well, right now he's in cruise control. Autopilot just dumped. Dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's a straight strikeout. It's got to put a ball in play. Two down, nobody on. That one just misses. And the count is one and two. It's on the ground. On the ground is second. Lux. And the Mets Next go one, two, three. There's someone to put the ball in play. Nothing doing for the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at City Field. And it's now it's Lux. Kevin Lux. Pete Carr on strong. McKenzie back to work. There's a strike. Drilled. And that ball's crushed. And that's gone. Big fly. Gavin Lux. His first homer of the year. It's one nothing. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boone. We knew it wasn't coming back. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly what that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Oh, and here is Pete Crow Armstrong. It's a strike across the top of the zone. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. It's going to be a tough play. Ohapia makes it. They got him, but it was pretty close. Singing, it was tough to tell in live action if the ball actually beat him, and it looks like they want some time to review it. 
might get another look uh, up here too and you know they called him out on the field but it just might be worth the challenge and they'll have to see clear evidence the other way to overturn this thing no so they decided against out. challenging the call at first so he is out Langford hey. batting with one down takes a strike and that's some bullshit Close, but call the ball. And that is ball one. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered ball, by it, though, but he right. clearly thought he clipped the corner. Right into the play. Fouls it off, still one and two. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Holiday stands in now and watches strike one. Up empty. Ahead of two of the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. And a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he deals. That's foul to the left, and we'll do it again. The pitch. That ball's down the line. Foul. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Gets under and pops it up. Sizes this one up. And makes the play, Good and that's out number five. three. That's on the board first, courtesy of this solo homer. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Base. Set for the bottom oh, of the third. Nice Francisco one. Lindor comes up to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare, only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. In the box now, no balls and a strike. The Mets trailing by a run here in game one of this three game set. Now a screamer into the outfield. That ball's hit hard, and that can be caught by Langford. Uh, man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's a foul throw process. He did that ball everything was shot. right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Ryan Clifford, Clifford from in the box up, two gone, and it takes a look at a cold strike. Hard hit to third. Hard hit one. Tosses the first. Makes the play, three down. down. Inning over. The Mets go down quickly. They trail here, one nothing. And we're back. All 
set for the start of the inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That's a base hit. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Tyler on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Isaac batting for the second time, and that's strike one. You know, these Nationals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the All best one. news yet for this offense. Pitch number 50. And yeah, the righty deals. Foul ball there. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swings and misses, struck him out. That high force fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years, and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. you expand your zone, you can stay tall on the back side, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. That ball's hit hard. And caught. High. And Lankford makes the catch on the wall. Soto hits on the ground. Vaughn to Isaac. It's beautiful. Off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings Got him some. Breaking ball in the dirt. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Just a hammer, 12 6 curveball right there, bro. That was exactly what he wanted to do. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12 6 break, but he does. And you can't throw any better than he did right there. Lugs. The next to hit takes ball no one. Time. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons. That's a base hit. Into the outfield, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. Now, once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And that one fouled off. Man at first, one away. And that's down and away. 
this is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. One, two, two double play. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And the batter now, Gunnar Henderson. Left-hand batter waits. The shortstop takes the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Fouled off. He was late. Let's go. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole. The more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. On the ground. And that's just foul. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. Got him. Got him swinging. Well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And next for the Mets, Logan O'Hoppy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three-game set. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Out to center. That ball's in the air to center. Armstrong is there. And he makes the, the grab. Catch. That is the inning. Back here at City Field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now up for Washington, Wyatt Langford. Right through there for a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead. Oh, a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confident, so he can be a bat. The dirt, and now it's even one and one. Good eye in that spot. It's number seven. Ah, that hit him. That lay off man is aboard to start the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jackson Holliday. Serving in the bullpen for the Mets, Todd Lettieri appears to be getting loose. Hughes also throw. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Runner at first with no outs here. Now five the balls in the air. On the move to the gap. He's got it. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about ten minutes of balls. In the gas, they practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Laddie, the next to hit, takes outside. Langford, the base runner at first with one out. And that ball's crushed. Deep center field. And that ball is gone. to their lead it's three nothing man he looks like his dad out there hitting home runs and Vlad makes it three when you're working with this kind of velocity it's so critical that you move the ball Brandon Hughes gets the ball now and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up I think it's a good move I know I never liked when a losing team did that to me Isaac at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. And it's not a good two. I just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing 
and a miss. Struck yeah. him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. To first, and that is the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. And we're back. John Shopping with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Francisco Lindor. These bats, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. They're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Way upstairs, and now 3-1. And, and as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. It's tough out there falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Popped up. Get 
chase after that one. That he really sells the change up with that arm action. Patino throws the first. Lux back in standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. And no intent of stealing on that pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. Hell of a miss. One ball, two strikes, man. That ball's crushed. Bring pop foul off to the right out of play. Owen two now fights it off. You'll see another kick. and deals. The Got him there, and that's the first out. And now it's Frankie Lindor. <laughs> is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next ball pitch one. misses. A ball one strike. One out. One down. Base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch. You'll see another.
Crawford come down for the Mets. One for two. And the pitch on the ground to the left. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. To the right side. And that chance handled. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. So they're down to their final out. So up next for New York, T.J. Friedel. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. There's a strike. The Mets down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. game. It's always nice to grab the over of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining. Happening this one, then. Craig Vaughn digging in for the Nationals. He's already homered here in this one. First what offering misses badly for ball one. Go ahead, run in second. Here in the third and final stuff. game of the series. And it's way to miss. Action in the pen down there. Gregory Soto getting loose out there. Here comes a pitch. Popped up, nearly down. Henderson gets under it. Henderson's there. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Xavier Isaac will hit next. Last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers left the ball down and in. And now it's even up. Hit hard. That's gonna get down, and it's gonna be off the wall. And a run comes in to score. And now it's Keeper Ruiz. First pitch misses. On the ground, the third. Baden. Whips it across. Down. 
to the top of the lineup. Here's the center fielder, Pete mm. Armstrong. Gold opportunity right here. A little hey. out front there as he swings through it. In the infield at the corner, still be surprised to see them come home first. One ball, one right. And prevent that run from scoring. This one in the dirt. The one one. Base is loaded. Run away. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get to it and hit it to the outfield. Left hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. And that ball's into the gap. One run will score. Two runs will score. Here comes the third run. Around third. He's safe. And they clear the bases. And they're up by four. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a few days. So they turn things over to the righties. Minnesota. But anyway, yeah, uh, that'll do it for this uh, episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.